the way Tanya works with the space is also inviting other artists, our members of the community, our members of the international and the national audience of Tate, to intervene. But it's not an intervention, it's creating a dialogue. Mm -hmm. And Shaghi Kul Alam, who is the Bangladeshi photographer, who we have seen already in Tate in the exhibition Conflict and Time, he is imprisoned and his supporters, family, people he trusts and people who trust him, they took his art and presented it to the public, to the public as an invitation to think about what is this and what does that mean if you are an artist and an activist, if you want to speak up. And it's much more than just a symbolic gesture. It's an invitation to start a dialogue. And a lot of people I've seen this morning watching the photographs, they've been saying, hmm, I know this guy, Shagikul Alam, from the media, in the media. What is the story? Why do I have to talk about him? Why do I have to reflect on his photographs? And you see, that's creating a very important form of dialogue. And that's what the art of Tanya is all about. It's an invitation. It's an invitation just to be together, to act together and to think together. I think uh, it's a, a subject that I'm um, very invested on, the idea of freedom of the speech and, and uh, the idea of defending the right to dissent and to show reality as it is and not as the government wants to make it look in their PR campaigns. Um, and it's an unjust, having him in prison is unjust and we should all unite and make sure that the government of Bangladesh hears what is happening and how it's not helping them. I was surprised that these photos are about the brigades of rapid response. And in Cuba, we have the exact same name for the people who assault activists. It's called Brigadas de Acción Rápida, de Respuesta Rápida. Uh, and I was surprised that even the name is the same. And I think what is going on right now is governments know that they look bad if they go against human rights. So what they are trying is to create fake cases, cases. against the people who are defending human rights um, as a way for people to be confused. Because if you say um, a journalist is taking photo of the reality of the abuses of the government, people will be sympathetic to it. But if you say that person is a, a liar, or that person is told something, or that person touched a woman, or that person, uh, I don't know, didn't pay the taxes, etc., it makes people think twice when they want to support because they don't know exactly what's going on. So I think it's uh, now an expanded practice. It has happened for many years, but now it seems everybody's cutting on to it. And it's extremely dangerous because we need to make sure that we are recognized for the work we're doing. Political prisoners need to be recognized as political prisoners. And, I mean, yesterday when we talked, you were telling me the story and I immediately uh, remember and I when I was in a similar situation and how important it was for other artists to support, uh, support me and the cause in Cuba. So of course, solidarity is what we have. Um, and I say immediately yes. And yeah, but this is a, a space, these kind of commissions are very open for people's participation and creativity. So I, I'm very honored that it's been taken uh, to put his photos and as a conversation piece for what is going on.